finally, The Rock does the right thing for the people. And we finna get into it, y'all. But first, intro. Yo, what's good, fam? Bam, it is your boy, Jason JV, saying welcome to another reaction video. And apparently, it looks like my man, The Rock, decided to, you know, do the grown man thing and apologize for the role he played <clears throat> in this whole people's fun to Maui <clears throat> thing that he tried to launch with Oprah Winfrey. And, uh, yeah. We finna get into this, y'all. This comes to us from cur courtesy of my man, Benny Johnson. You know what I mean? Shout out to Benny Johnson. One of my favorite YouTube uh, peoples out there. And it's keeping me up to date on, on all the goings on in, in the world. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah. Came out with this video simply called The Rock Cracks. Issues groveling apology for fundraising off Maui Fire. Savage internet backlash. And oh, was there plenty of backlash, all right? And uh, I find it funny, though, that they use the word backlash in association with The Rock. Because, you know, um, WWE, they used to have this, this monthly, well, this once-a-year pay-per-view called Backlash that used to follow WrestleMania. But anyway, <clears throat> without further ado, y'all, let's go ahead and get into Benny's video. By liking the hee-hee. When we first launched the fund, uh, there was some backlash that came with launching the fund. And I you don't say, Rocky. I mean, gee, I wonder why that was. You blew it. Right. Anyway, let's get back into this. I want to address and acknowledge that backlash <clears throat> right now. Shut up, What's up, guys? It's boy, Benny. You are witnessing the single rarest thing to ever happen on planet Earth right now. A celebrity apologizing for being a complete and total jackass. Now and, and how often do we get that? Hmm? How often when... Do, do we see celebrities, you know, admit to their wrongdoings, admit to being, as my man said, a total jackass, you know what I'm saying, <clears throat> on the internet, and uh, owning up to it and apologizing. I mean, not very many celebrities do that, so you gotta give Rock here some credit, I'm just saying. Anyway, let's get back into this. Now you will recall, ladies and gentlemen, that The Rock and Oprah, a month ago, decided to ask you for money mm -hmm. to fix the little resort town that they live in. They yep. decided to have the audacity, these two billionaires, to beg you for money. You, who are currently living under the suffering and the crippling recession and inflation caused by their preferred candidate for president. The person who they promoted, a man named Joe Biden, and the destruction of World War III that Joe Biden is bringing to our world. Remember. Because as we're finding, as you guys around the world know, with disasters like this, the number one need is money. Is money. Money. Is money. In hand. The and so people being yeah, the number one need is money. Says the people who have all the money. I mean, it's not like, you know, those of us who are struggling to get by really have that kind of money. So, yeah, shame on y'all for that. Able to have their own agency, be able to make money. decisions for themselves about what they need Give and what their money. family needs. That's <laughs> our goal: is to get that to the people now. And so we appreciate. And by people the give to people us, give, give us the, the money. We're calling the. We need, need your money. money. It's all about me. Saying, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? This is what, this is what, you, what do. you do. The people give us money. Money. We give us money. So. Give us money so we can, you know, say we're going to give it to the people of Maui, but really it's going to go to our entertainment uh, business because, you know, that's just what we do. Right. You'll, you know, so they, they were, of course, like destroyed by this. They had to turn off their social media comments. I've never seen anything like it. Mal, like Oprah and The Rock, by mm -hmm. their own base, by the way, not by, not by MAGA red hat wearing Republicans, no. but by their own base, their own leftist lib uh, 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 <clears throat> metropolitan base facts were destroying them for these two billionaires telling you that you needed to cough up cash so that they could repair the little private island that they own. Mm -hmm. Oprah is the largest landowner in Maui. Has Oprah given a single <clears throat> acre of her 2,000 acres to any of the people who were devastated in the Lahaina fires? Great question. Well, at least The Rock is listening to his 
commenters and his fans saying, I'm sorry, The Rock is now apologizing for the backlash against the People's Fund of Maui. And meanwhile, Oprah Winfrey is trying to paint herself up like she's the victim. Did you lose your house in that fire, Oprah? Did you lose any of the acres that you own on said island to that fire? No, you didn't. So you're not a victim. And therefore, you need to do the world a favor and shut the hell up. You should feel bad. That he started. The Go tell your neighbors over there in Maui that lost it all. Go tell them that, yeah, you're every bit of a victim that they are. I'm sure they'll get a real kick out of that. Brock effectively saying, hey, this make me this made me look like such an ass. I was such a jackass to do this. I didn't realize how bad and things have gotten and how much suffering my preferred candidate for president, the man who I advocated for, Joe Biden, has brought to you and all of America. And by the way, Rock, shame on you for supporting a known racist as our president. You know what I'm saying? Shame on you for supporting a man who gropes women. You know what I'm saying? And he did it live on TV. I mean, there, the footage is out there. So I'm not saying anything that, that, that is slanderous. No, there, there's receipts out there all over YouTube. It's not hard to find at all. You know what I'm saying? There's also receipts to prove the man's known racist. Hell, I'm pretty sure I, I did a video showing what kind of a man Joe Biden really is. So shame on you, Rocky, for not being, you know, uh, informed, properly informed as to who it is that you are in favor of. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Anyway, the fund, uh, there was some backlash that came with launching the fund. And I want to address and acknowledge that backlash right now. And here's what I have to say about that. I get it. And I completely understand. And I could have been better. And next time I will be better. And you still can be better. And I understand, you know, money ain't falling out of the sky and it's not growing on trees. And there's a lot of people out there who's living paycheck to paycheck. And I get it and I know what that's like. I've lived paycheck to paycheck. Seven bucks. I know. I know what that's like. And when you are living paycheck to paycheck, I don't want to speak for everybody. I'll speak for myself. But I feel it's connected. When you're living paycheck to paycheck, I was easily pissed off and I was frustrated. And the last thing you want to hear when you are living paycheck to paycheck is someone asking you for money. Especially when the person asking you for money already has a lot of money. So I get it. I understand I'd never launched a fund before, uh, but I'm a quick study and lesson learned. So The Rock, to his great credit, actually, is apologizing. Let's read the top line. Oh, yeah. Uh, um, I'll give Rocky credit, you know, where it's due. I mean, like I said, he's he's the only celebrity, really, in today's day and age, who at least had the balls, had, you know, the uh, testicular fortitude, you know what I'm saying, as Mick Foley would say, to put out a video and say, hey, I was wrong. You know what I mean? I messed up. That's on me. That's my bad. But hey, I'm learning. Um, I, you know what I mean? I, I realized, yeah, you know, I took a step back and I realized, hey, okay, this is why the people are upset and they have every right to be upset. I understand that. And, and, and I was wrong and I apologize. So yo, kudos to him for that. I, I'll, I'll give him that, that credit. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Kind of the article here, uh, Johnson 51 and Oprah Winfrey's free 69 faced harsh criticism from fans in early September. The famous duo asked members of the public to donate money to their Maui Wildlife Fund. They are both worth three billion dollars collectively. The Hollywood pair chipped in ten million dollars, which is zero zero point zero 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 one of their net worth. So yeah, that would be the equivalent of me donating a, a half a penny. To the people from the Maui? Hmm, interesting. Fans didn't react with enthusiasm. Many complained that they were already living paycheck to paycheck and the uber-rich celebrities should dole out more of their own money. You know what they should have done? It's amazing. What they should have done, they should have just asked their celebrity buddies who live in Maui. I agree with that wholeheartedly. Yep. Ask your celebrity friends to help you. Anyone and everyone that you know that that, that is well-to-do, that is financially well-off, ask them. Mark Zuckerberg, Jeff Bezos, Larry Ellison, these guys are all multi multi billionaires, much, mm -hmm. much richer than Oprah and The Rock. Uh, and they could have probably rebuilt the entire town from scratch. Oh, yeah, easily. Oh, the metal metaverse. This is what the town looks like. I mean, again, give credit where credit is due. Uh, the Rock's caption effectively saying, hey, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I'll listen to you. 
good or bad, you always tell me the truth. Uh, and you have my word. I'll listen, grow, and do better. Like, good for him. Yeah. Good for him. Yeah, I agree. Ain't perfect on everything, obviously. Like, the, the guy's been a total shill mm. uh, for the globalists and the establishment. And, yeah. I, you know, I think The Rock is, you should be very skeptical of anything The Rock does. But th he didn't have to make this video. Mm. He could have done what Oprah did, which was to say that she's the real victim because people were mean to her on the internet. And that's what separates The Rock from a lot of these other celebrities. You know what I mean? All these other celebrities, you know, instead of admitting to their screw-ups or whatever, to their, their fumbles, no, they'd rather be like, oh, we're, we're, we're being attacked. We're, we're, we're the victims now. No, you ain't no victim, okay? If you're a well-off, well-to-do person who has enough money to rebuild a whole town that you live in, that you have acres of land in, no, you are not a victim. Here is how Oprah responded to the criticism. ...about being happier and rock never played the victim you know what i'm saying so I, I i i tip my hat to the rock for that in the midst of an onslaught of being terrorized, terrorized. and vilified <clears throat> online mm -hmm. i will say this I, <laughs> I was being terrorized and vilified on the internet bitch people have every right to do that to you you earned it came out of this experience i was just saying this to arthur this morning with so much more compassion for young kids Shut up, Oprah. Shut your mouth. <laughs> shut up, Meg. <laughs> but instead of shut up, Meg, should be shut up, Oprah. <laughs> she just said she was terrorized. Yeah. By online commenters. Yeah. Oprah said she's the victim in this CBS News piece. Again, did you lose your house? Did you lose any of any of your your many acres of land that you own on Maui? Yeah. And again, I bet you don't have. The balls, the balls that you carry on your chest. I bet you can't take them to, to the people of Maui and tell them you're just as much a victim because of, oh, hurtful, mean, mean words on the internet. Go tell that to the people of Maui. See how they react. It, I, it would not be pretty, I would imagine. Oprah said that she's the one who deserves your empathy. She's Hell the one no. who deserves you no. to say, wow, I'm so sorry for you, Oprah. My goodness, you're the you're a billionaire. You are the largest landowner in all of Maui. You yep. own plantations in yep. Maui. Oh, yep. yes. And those 2000 acres, you haven't given a single one of them to the people who actually had their houses burned down. Yep. Yep. Hogging up all that land and you won't share any of it with your neighbors. And you want to act like you're the victim. That girl is one giant red flag. Uh uh. Uh-uh. Kick rocks with that noise. That's okay. Your multiple homes in Maui, you haven't opened up a single door or window for the victims of the fire. Nope. But you're the victim. Oprah claiming she was terrorized. You see why do you see do you see why people hate celebrities? Look at this headline. Oprah Winfrey admits she was shocked by the backlash. Online attacks. She's been attacked. She's been attacked. <laughs> it's a sad state we're in, in this country. Yeah, it's a sad state where everyone is living under a crippling recession and crippling inflation and having their futures destroyed mm. by the man that you back. Yeah, you know what? And let, let, let this be a message for all you celebrities out there, all you well-to-do celebrities that want to act like you're, you're victims because of mean words, hateful comments, mean, mean tweets, mean people. So as long as you have millions upon millions of dollars or billions upon billions of dollars, you know what I mean? So as long as you're so well off, so well to do that you have the ability to, again, rebuild, you know, a town or rebuild a city. You know what I mean? That was, you know, brutalized in a huge, devastating fire. You will never be a victim. OK, so as long as you have plenty of money to buy multiple houses, multiple expensive cars, you will never be a victim. Because you can easily replace those things. Some of us don't have that kind of luxury. So you will never be a victim. Damn it, Bobby. This just ain't right. Act for president. Go look mm. at Oprah's Instagram. Like the amount, the amount, like all these photos and sloppy photos with Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. She didn't care. She didn't care. She's rich forever. So the people of Maui have been very, very pissed for a long time, obviously, at the mewling uh, jackwads who closed down all the roads, pushed people back towards the middle of the town, which was burning and in flames and effect effectively like an, an open oven, closed the roads, stopped the water from hitting the town to help. 
stopped uh, emergency systems from going off? Like, where's the accountability here? Mm -hmm. This is what the townspeople continue to ask. The townspeople mm -hmm. continue to demand, like, where the hell is the accountability? Facts. You'll remember that Oprah turned off the comments. That Oprah turned off the comments on her post. Mm -hmm. uh, she deleted, she, she stopped the ability for anyone to comment on her Instagram page because the backlash was so severe. Yeah, and see, and what kind of person does that? What kind of person shuts off comments? You know what I mean? When, you know, from people who were her fans, could be, could, could have been her fans, you know what I mean, that were supporting her, you know what I'm saying? They are now telling her, hey, uh, you're messing up. You're the one with all the money, not us. We're broke. So you need to go help your neighbors out. And she wants to shut that up? Why? And, and explain how that makes her look good. Like I said, at least Rock was man enough to recognize that he messed up and apologize. And, and he, he's, he's earned back my respect for that. We have some of our favorite responses to this here. And again, a tip of the hat, good for The Rock for at least apologizing. Now, what he could do is then put $50 million personally into go helping the people of Lahaina. I mean, that I think would be a very smart next move. Mm -hmm. people of Lahaina saying, where the hell's Oprah? Who the hell is Oprah? And why would you, how dare you ask me for money? Mm. Watch. Ain't no mother way you came on this mother internet and propped your lips up to ask the 99% for money when you are of the 1% that has it all. Well. What the f is wrong with y'all? Thank you. What the f is wrong with y'all? Then on top of that, you trying to get us to believe that if we click a link that your mother name is on Oprah, that we're going to trust for that money to go directly to anybody. Right. And let us not forget Oprah's school for girls out in Africa. How did that work out, Oprah? Hmm? What happened to all those girls at this school of yours? And you expect us to trust you after that? What? <clears throat> you asking for relief? And let us not forget, too, that it's been confirmed that Oprah is also on the Epstein flight log. I just want to put that out there because, again, it has been verified. Leaf aid to those poor people in Maui that lost everything. Ain't them your neighbors? I mean, Thank you, bruh. And you used to be giving away stuff on your show. You get a car, you get a car, you get a car. Why can't you reach into your $2 billion net worth and say, you get relief, you get relief, you get relief. Facts. Thank you for that one. Instead, you down here asking me for money. Did I just witness what I think I witnessed? Oh, I remember Please this don't home, tell me I just saw a billionaire standing next to a multi-millionaire begging the average everyday citizen for donations that can barely get by due to a real life recession. Oh yes, ma'am, you did. Living paycheck to paycheck, barely can pay rent, barely can put food on the table for our families in a country where our president is giving away all our resources to another country for money. Right? Money? Most of the people pointed out that you and The Rock have enough money to solve this problem on your own. Facts. They also pointed out that you're well connected and that you have a lot of rich friends that could also donate. Facts. It was deeply concerning on many levels. To be standing in the exact spot where the people are, be asking someone who's not there for money. Also in this video, they talk about, you talk about being concerned about the money going to the wrong people and the, the in-betweens of charitable organizations. You're standing right there, both of you. Yeah? You could just go down and write the checks yourselves. I feel like you- Right? They're right there. They can literally directly give the money to the people there in Maui. Instead of going having some middleman, you know, give them money that God only knows where, where it, it'll really go. So, yeah. You both need new handlers because this is very out of touch, like very touched and out of reality. You know, that, that's a very good point. They do need new new handlers. You know what I mean? People who actually keep up to date on everything that's going on so they can tell them, yeah, this will not be a good move for you, my guy, or this will not be a good move for you, my gal. Neither was you going to, you know, that, that island. That, that wasn't a good move either. Because now people know. People know now. 
So then I was sitting here reading and went, oh look, Entertainment Industry Foundation, EIF, is the one that you want to be donated for. Okay, well how about this one? Turns out the uh, charity there seems like, look at the founders. Uh-huh. What's really caught my eye was Warner Brothers because, well, mm. Warner Brothers. Hmm, that sounds familiar. Hmm. Seems like a little rocky here between the Rock and Warner Brothers. Uh, looks like they told him to kick f***ing rocks. All right, so Oprah Winfrey and Dwayne Johnson, you know, the guy that plays the same character in every f***ing movie, decided to take it upon themselves to ask you for your money to donate to their fundraiser. These motherfuckers are worth millions, if not billions, but they're asking you for your money. Gas prices everywhere is damn near $5. Rent is crazy. Inflation is crazy. We got Sleepy Joe in office. We got a corrupt system, but they want your money. It never ceases to amaze me, man. Like, are they doing this shit on purpose? There's no way that Oprah Winfrey, a mega billionaire whose house is one of the only houses that didn't burn down in Maui, is coming out here and asking us little folks to... Oh yeah, let, let, let us not forget that. Remember, her house is still intact. All the many acres of land that she owes in Maui, still intact, untouched. Let's keep that in mind. Donate our money to the victims of the wildfires. There is no way that that's happening. During what can only be described as a modern day Great Depression, when people are losing their own homes and people can't afford to buy their own food right now, why don't you sell your mansion that seemed to somehow be saved from the wildfires and use that money to give back to the community that you feel so great about? People are trying Thank you, that makes a great deal of sense. I like what she said there. Trying to cancel Oprah and The Rock for asking people like me and you to donate money for the Maui wildfires. Oprah and The Rock have come together and created this foundation to give money back to the people of Lahaina. And apparently in the comments, she said that they both started with $10 million to start the fundraiser. Now that is fine and dandy, 5 million and 5 million. The only problem is Oprah is worth 2.5 billion dollars so that five million is 0.2 percent of her entire net worth all right y'all so that was benny johnson's video on the rock giving his apology for the role he played in the whole maui fire uh fun that he tried to raise with oprah um again i respect the rock for what he did you know what i mean the man has earned back my respect you know what i'm saying for that and uh oprah will never have my respect again you know given with everything that i know about her now um <clears throat> and by the way uh that that was not slander i threw out there i mean like i said there's other youtubers that have that have the epstein flight log and they've given out the whole list of people who went to that island oprah is on that list so oprah if you if you're if you or someone that happens to be connected with you happens to be watching this, you cannot file a lawsuit against me because I'm only spreading out the information that I was given that that's already out there. So, and that goes for you too, Eminem. Can't sue me either. I'm just saying. You want you want to sue somebody? Sue the person who leaked the flight logs. There you go. I'm sure they got plenty of cash. If you know what I mean. Anyway, all right, y'all. Pretty much all I gotta say about this, man. Let me know where y'all stand in the comment section down below. And uh, yeah, till the next one, y'all have a blessed one. Don't forget to like, comment, share, of course, subscribe, all that good stuff. Don't forget to hit up the merch store. Oh, and go support my man Benny Johnson as well. Link for the original video will be in the description down below. All right, y'all, peace. Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, what's up with you, Jason JV? What up, Jason JV? I'm just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. Jason, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, JV? My name is Jimmy Bass. I just want to have the next video with him. Who's saying what's up, JV? He can't hold the fuck's head up. Uh, uh, I don't know why you're sad. If you're sad, you're sad. If you're sad, you're sad. If you're sad, you're sad. If you're happy, don't be too happy. Don't be expecting shit. It's like it occurs all the time. So you're ready to be on the swerve. So subscribe, tap the little bell, turn on the notifications, and if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it, yeah!